Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. With my wife and kids, we run an antique shop in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, filled with some of the most unique items we can find. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. I'm home, honey! It's 8.45 in the morning. I'm waiting for the auction house, Castner, to open up. Today is gonna be uh, the last day in the house. I'm hoping to get everything cleared out of the house. But I also have to get everything moved over to the auction, which is what I'm doing here right now. We're getting ready for our uh, our two sales, one uh, coming up to sell the jewelry and the other uh, coming up to sell household items. So as much as the work is gonna be ending at the house, uh, hopefully today, I have a whole other job just about to begin by getting everything ready and put together and sorted at the auction. I can tell you it's been a lot of work even getting all the jewelry put together for the sale. Uh, days and days of sorting and organizing, but hopefully it'll uh, get us uh, in the right direction. We'll find out. Um, in a short amount of time, I'm headed over to the house where I'll be meeting Hans and Zenovia and we'll be doing uh, sort of a final walkthrough. <laughs> Uh, getting the place uh, passed off to the owners and um, yeah it's been quite an adventure so far not quite done yet we'll be done with the house today but not quite done with this adventure yet as we still have to auction off all the stuff that came out of it and uh, and see how we did so follow along on today's episode while I offload a ambulance full of stuff <laughs> load it up again brought to do a couple trips today and uh, try and get that house completely emptied out it's gonna be a big day got a few big things to lift and move out but it's gonna be all worthwhile. Wait and see. Made the first stop, <laughs> kind of in the nick of time too, because I got a phone call from Hans and Zenobia saying they're at the house. So I had to hustle my honey over here to come and see them. There they are there in their truck. See how they're doing. I sense a Hans and Zenobia inside the vehicle. Good morning, Mr. Hans. Good day, Alex. And how are you, my friend? I'm good. I see Mrs. Claus is driving the sleigh today. Oh, yeah. She likes to drive most of the time. Uh, that's okay. So she drives the truck and you drive her crazy? Is that how it works? That's, hey! That's how <laughs> you got it. That's... <laughs> so today is going to be the last day in the house. Last day in last the house? Last day. We're going to be done today. Well, if you say so, my friend. I, I have full confidence. I, believe, I have a plan. What if there's gold in the house? Ah, uh, then the next guy gets it. Oh, so when I clean the attic, I get it. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, you guys ready for, um, it won't be crazy today. I don't think it's gonna be too bad. There's a couple of heavy things we gotta move out. This, the stove and the uh, TV have to get tossed in that dumpster. Okay. Uh, my buddy Paul is gonna come by. Rock and roll Paul will probably come by around noon, so he cool. can help us with that. But in the meantime, uh, just gotta get all the garbage out of the basement. And any garbage in the house, uh, and while Zenobi and I sort and get the boxes separated for goodwill or charity uh, versus what we're gonna keep. So I've got sorting to do with Zenobia while you dump garbage, if you're okay with that. Perfect. Okay, let's, let's get, get to her. How are you feeling today, by the way? How are you? I'm good. You're good? Yeah. So a lot of people were saying, oh, Zenobia looks like she's tired, but you said you'd rather be here than sitting at home anyway, right? Yeah, well, yeah, you betcha. Okay, well, we'll find you a comfy place to set up. I think probably in the living room we'll do our sorting and then. Okay. Uh, we'll figure out what's going to stay and what's going to go. Excellent. And all of this has to be gone through. Hans is going to work on chucking garbage, which he's already getting started on. And uh, well, I'm looking forward to getting this done today. Just being done and out of here. And you, you know you're... Oh. Hans is busy working away. I've been sorting in this room. Stuff that we think we can keep or sell. Things that are going to go to charity. Um, I don't know, a bunch of random toilet paper that, you know, is probably worth more than anything else in this room right now. <laughs> well, that's not true. There's lots of good stuff. Uh, things that are going to Zenobia and Hans. And yeah, just a bit of sorting and cleaning left to do in the kitchen here. But we're making some good progress. Before long, this will all be cleared out. Uh, those are, those, those can go over with the charity stuff. I've got plenty of those record racks. So now I'm kind of going through and making sure we got everything emptied out. 
um, things we can keep, things that are garbage, broken bins, just a lot of uh, sorting and organizing left to do. But it's crunch day. It's the day that everything has to go. And I've got my ambulance here. I've got the right tools for the job. Yeah, I better work in the kitchen a bit to get this clean up. These are all bottles I'm gonna to give to our good friend, uh, Bob the Bottle Man. So I'll save those off to the side. How's it looking downstairs? Well, she's getting pretty clean. Okay. Cause I think that one you said you want it because it don't go bad, that silvo. The silvo, yeah. Uh, just gonna throw out the paint that's down there, put that in the bin. Okay. Perfect, and while you're doing that, I'm gonna work on figuring out what I'm keeping and getting rid of up here. I'll try and get this kitchen cleaned up. stuff loaded up in the back of the truck that's going to charity this is all these are all items that I think I could possibly sell I was gonna go into the back of the ambulance Zenobia is sweeping under the fridge which looks like that's not been uh, I don't think anybody's been under that fridge in a while we ran into a bit of a predicament though because I had told the gentleman that owns the house that I would get rid of the fridge and stove for him um as well as the tv which is done but the stove is actually aside from being really dusty and kind of gross it's hardwired into the electrical panel so i cannot take this out um because well i'm not an electrician and i'm not about to start uh, practicing on this thing so that'll have to be for him unfortunately um but we'll get the we'll get the fridge out of here and then we'll be uh closing the gap on getting out of this place but kitchen is cleaning up check the vent there was nothing down the vent other than a bunch of dust and dirt they're gonna need uh, some serious duct cleaning <coughs> to say the least can't believe we're breathing in that air yeah. well the masks help for sure oh, does this make you feel like cleaning your own house yeah and I keep on going home like <sighs> I know, I, I felt the same way, but uh, there's been so much sorting and stuff, I'm just too exhausted to do too much at home until this is all dealt with. But, I'm just going to go through all my boxes downstairs and get rid of them. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. Okay, I'm gonna leave you to this. I was thinking about saving this fridge because uh, it's a good old fridge, but as I look at it and the weather stripping's all shot on it, I think it's gonna be destined for the dumpster here pretty soon too. Yeah, we've been hard at it for a couple hours now. Hans and Zenobia are taking the truck off to uh, the local charity. I think they're going to the Salvation Army right now as he's waving at me. Dumpster is, well, it's getting there. It's halfway full. My car, almost full. The house, not quite empty. Still have a little ways to go before we're even close to being able to walk out. Um, basement has a lot of garbage in it, but we're gonna take a lunch break while they're off at charity i am going to uh, continue pulling stuff down off the walls that i think might have a, a future home perhaps at an auction sale or at the store and um, we'll get everything all put together but uh, yeah, we're gonna order them lunch so that there's some food here when they get back because uh, i think everybody's getting hungry at this point food has arrived so i thought i'd best sweep up this area that we're gonna be eating in make it somewhat livable. And I made a little make-do dining room table and some chairs for Hans and Zenobia or wherever they want to sit. I'm going to get uh, things all ready and get the house in order here. And hopefully they'll arrive just in time for dinner. I feel like I'm setting up for a kid's tea party. <laughs> hey, the gang is finishing up their meal and we have a special guest. It's Rock and Roll it's Paul. Paul. So this is, this is uh, our good friend, Paul. He's back to help out with some of the grunt work today. 
Um, I pretty much just asked you to come help move a fridge. <laughs> sure. Uh, but I have to run over to the store to get my dolly because I don't think anybody wants to try and carry a fridge anywhere. Yeah, you can drag it. Yeah, but now the floors are pretty nice now that I've it's swept. Old one, so it'll be heavy. Yeah, so I'm gonna run over to the shop and get a dolly. Um, <laughs> Dale yeah. has been finding all sorts of stuff in the basement to to uh, donate to the Air Museum. Cool. How's it going down there? It's just to uh, load up, it's all done. Okay, well, perfect. I will leave you to that. Um, and uh, Paul and Hans, while I go and grab the dolly, <laughs> you guys are okay to uh, haul some garbage up from downstairs? Sure. And I'll go get the dolly and come back and uh, we'll, <coughs> Try and make it a wrap on this place. Don't tickle the dolly too much. Uh, <laughs> At least you got another dumpster. That's good. Yes. Yeah. Well, the homeowner got this dumpster. They're going to be starting construction and renovation on the house. Which Hans, actually, you're going to be helping out with the renos on this place, right? Yeah. They. Uh, oh, wow. He has phoned us to do some of the uh, the the facade, fascia, the trees. Uh, yeah, a few things. And you're going to do videos of this, right? Uh, yes, we are. Okay. Yes. So you can go to helping Hans. <laughs> Helping Hans on YouTube, and you can watch uh, Hans and Zenobia carry on after I depart this project. But uh, we're not quite out of the woods yet, so I'm going to get together and grab my stuff, and uh, I'll be back with the dolly. I should probably clarify when I say we're going to toss out the old fridge. We're actually taking it to a place called an eco station, which is going to uh, responsibly recycle it. Um, but I did have to come to the shop to get my dolly uh, because, uh, like I said, we don't want to lift that thing. So here I am. Just about there, switch vehicles and um, get that thing loaded up. Out goes the fridge. Um, do you want me to come around on that side and help, Paul? Well, we gotta try and maybe uh, take a little bit of a run at it. But, yeah, we're gonna need to lift it. From the bottom, yeah. Now, okay. there you go. There you go. Yeah. It lasted like 60, 70 years. That's a good run for a fridge. Okay. So Hans, you ready to go on a trip to the eco station? Okay, let's go get rid of it. Okay. Okay. I did a whole bunch of work in here and got all the clothes that need to go to Mark outside so he can come get them tonight. Um, the garage wasn't wasn't really part of the deal. Um, we'll tidy up a little bit. I, I threw out half a dumpster full of stuff out of here that was garbage, as I'd promised I would. But we've made even more progress on the inside of the house. And while Hans and I were out dumping off that refrigerator, it looks like uh, Paul and possibly Dale got busy and tossed the couch in here too. We've almost got another full dumpster worth of stuff. Was that you and Dale that brought the couch up? Yeah. Well, thank you for that, Paul. Oh, me and Hans. Oh, you and Hans did, okay. So that's it for the house. We had eight weeks to complete this job. We did it in two. Now, it's taken a lot of work to get there, and it's taken more than blood, sweat, and energy. It's taken help from very good friends, whom I really appreciate. But we have turned this house back into, well, almost a home. With some renovations and a lot of TLC, this house will soon be lived in and loved once more. So thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed this little series and it's not quite over yet because we still have to do uh, two auction updates. One for our auction that's on January 23rd, the other on January 30th at kauctions.ca where we will be auctioning off the things that we found in the house. First sale is just for the jewelry and the coins and uh, cash. The second one is gonna be for um, all the household items that we found and are bringing through. But for now, I think that's it. We say goodbye to the house. Before we do, let's have a look back and see what the house looked like before. Let's start at the front of the house and let's give the folks an idea of what the rooms are room by room. And you haven't even seen the whole thing yet. So let's head up to the no. front and then we'll do a little, uh, let me show you like it's a, sh a show home. Oh, I guess that bulb's burnt out there, but 
Literally, the only thing I've been looking for is burnt out lights. Yeah, he okay, said. I'll fix this one next. He's a handy guy to have around, folks. <laughs> so, front door. Uh, I'm going to turn my light on so we can see better. Oh, I stepped on something. Somebody else stepped on it before, though, too. Probably another Moorcroft vase. Ugh, it was already broken, though. Front area, lots of clothing. We come over to the left, and there's the dining room area. And what's in the dining room? A whole bunch of stuff. Um, so there's some nice cabinets. Like, I mean, all of this I own now. So I have to figure out... Oh, look, there's a pass-through into the kitchen. Won't be passing much through there right now. It's totally full of stuff. Across from the dining area, we have the basically like the uh, the living room space. There's a fireplace over there, but look, there's a whole freaking grand piano. And what kind of shape is it underneath everything? Let's see. It's like in perfect condition. Oh yeah, you get the cover. Yeah, it's covered. So there's music sheets, um, but there's a beautiful. It's a Williams new scale grand piano this would be considered i think a baby grand yeah. it's not like a full-size grand but there's a beautiful grand piano that is coming to the store i've actually got somebody arranged to take that to the shop for me um in a couple days because this is going to be the first room that i clear out um the previous the owner of the property has already started cleaning out this room they've taken maybe a, a ton of stuff out of here This room has, uh, it's very hard to get in here, but there's a pump organ. You can see there's a love of music. Those are all, that's all music sheets. And uh, that nice little Burlwood bureau. Hey, I wonder, uh, I wonder if they were in a band. Cause there's a, there's a box marked rubber bands right here. <laughs> ba -da -da -ba -da -bump. Actually there was a band called the rubber band. Or like even just lying around there's like picture facts on the uh, apollo missions and lamps ornamental lamps and but did you see in that room yeah it's like the quasi creepy oh, sitting room you're sitting down yeah that's where i was sitting oh, down yeah, that is tiny yeah yeah it's very tiny that's actually a nice little dresser right there with the drop drawers on the front not bad there's gonna be a lot of furniture comes out of here. Let's go upstairs. These are the stairs. This will have to be after the front room gets cleared out. This stairwell will have to get cleared out pretty quickly after. I mean, a lot of this seems to be fabric, crafting materials, supplies, maybe Christmas presents that never were used, pottery, lots of woven rugs, some random toys for no reason, the bathroom, which has not probably been used as a bathroom in a long time. It's really, really full. I own, I am one man who owns more ladies clothing. <laughs> There's some art just randomly hanging on the wall. Well, it is actually. Yeah, yeah it, it's not just sitting there. Oh. And then there's the upstairs bedroom. Is there a light switch in here that works? Oh, this is where we start seeing that the house needs a lot of TLC, a lot of work. 
bedroom. Um, and then this way, see if you can climb your way into that room, Josh. I'm wiggling my way oh, in between the piles here, trying to get back to where, this is as far as Melissa could get last time. And I think I'm seeing if there's... Oh, there's another grand piano in here. No, there's not. Yeah, there is. People who thought I was crazy. Hey, look, there's a Archie comic. Excellent, what is this? That, is that off a dentist? No. Oh, that's for drawing, I think. Like, um, oh, for drafting. drafting. I think that's a drafting table behind you, or maybe. No, this is a no. This is Oh, a... are you on a bed right now? No, this is a bed. Oh. <laughs> mm. You know what we should do? While we're upstairs here? Yeah. I know, you're like, comics! Because I know from knowing you and from watching your videos that you have a big collection of Archie comics. Yeah, mostly the Digest, though. I don't really collect these style mostly the digest you know what i'm worried about not that i wouldn't what's that i'm worried that i just bought a bunch of old clothing you may have i might have now we are in the kitchen Yeah, I wouldn't be eating anything out of here. There, there is no HP. But you know what? People do hide things in the freezer. Oh, look at all the ice build up in there. Wait, hang on. No, it's just a hollowed up. Why would you eat all your ice cream? Probably because you don't want, like, you don't have, you can't find your garbage can. So you're like, I'm just going to put it back where it came from. People hide things in the fridge. Yeah. Um, in this case, it might just be food. Remember when I was looking for a fridge like that from Mary's place and then sewing machine, sovereign sewing machine. And I know people are going crazy about all the buttons and stuff that are in these baskets. People like buttons? People like buttons. What am I going to tell you? I don't Is know. That people a, like buttons. Uh, not a telescope. What do you call that thing on the window there? Oh, uh, microscope. Yeah. Microscope. Yeah. 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 Yes, it is. Lots of watch batteries and stuff. Hmm. This is gonna be a big job cleaning this place out. I mean, I wanna sell and donate and reuse as much as I can. What's with you and leather jackets today? What's in the pocket? <laughs> oh, Kleenex. What's cool. up with old people saving used Kleenex? You never know, because you might need Kleenex someday. Yeah, the saws. Um, there's a tree trimmer. A couple of them. them. Yeah. Yeah. And then a brand new saw, an Irwin saw. That's not, I don't know why I said it. It's like, a, it's not, a, it's a brand name or anything, but. Okay. And then. And a back scratcher. We have to deal with all this. This entire basement is full up to the roof. Literally up to the roof. Watching your previous videos, it does not even translate. So you had no idea. Josh no. saw the last video I was here, but it is crazy. This is where I fell into the black hole of clothing. Yeah, so did I when I turned on the freaking light. Now, do we have to pull that cord or will it turn off with the switch? Uh, I don't know. I turned it on with the cord. Okay, we might have to crawl back in there. Um, this is utter madness. This is going to be... Oh my goodness. It's a... It's a like an eight inch, hang on, I'm gonna turn around so you can see, that's what I went through. Josh is more slender than I, so he didn't make the grunting sound. <laughs> um, 
I've got a nice treadle sewing machine down here, which I'll eventually get. Uh, but look, I think this is still, this Rockwell uh, table saw is still in the box, brand new. Oh yeah. Brand new table. And look, there's a Mastercraft uh, drill, brand new, with the tag still on the top. Oh yeah, drill press, yeah. Uh, did you, but did you see around the corner here? What's that? For the man who likes tools, this is all like, this is stacked full of like brand new tools. Well guys, I don't think, well in fact, I know that I couldn't have done it without the two of you. Thank you so much for all your hard work the past couple weeks. Um, you think you'd do it again if we got another one of these places? Let's give her! <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit right there. <laughs> I guess I'm about overdue to help you guys on something too, but yeah, we'll, we'll see when that time comes, I guess. Just give me a call. In the meantime though, you guys were busy as all get out. Yeah, we were. Well, this job and another job. So between the two jobs, yeah, we've been pretty much rocking and rolling. But you did get, uh, you're saving all that hardwood flooring you're going to use in your own little house, right? Yeah, in the little house that should do up a room. Do you know what room you're going to do with it yet, or? Uh, living room, maybe? I think living room. Okay. <coughs> well, I am glad that we get to call it a day on this place, and we're done even before the sun's down today, too. Thanks. Hey, that's a switch. It is a big switch. <laughs> Well, have a good one, guys. We'll see you soon. It's always a pleasure helping you out. Bye, guys. So thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we're always doing something kind of interesting. Appreciate you watching this little series that we put together and hope to hear from you all soon. Hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you again and bye for now.